All right, Randy, thank you so much. Camber, thank you for that wonderful presentation. Uh, I wrote some things down, definitely excited. Um, I'll introduce myself again really quick. I mentioned uh, Morning Anchor here in Greenville, South Carolina, but I'm originally from New York. And being from New York, um, I was lucky enough to have some good influences growing up. I've had a mentor early in life, as well as my father helping me guide my way through adolescence. And then getting into the job with meteorology originally, I had to move away from home. So first moved to Saginaw, Michigan, and after Saginaw, Michigan, ended up in the upstate. Uh, from that, I was lucky enough to find other men that I would pour into and lean into. And all this just to kind of talk about the origins of the modern man here. Um, I noticed that I had a, a desire to learn from other men because I've always been hard headed. So looking to find other men who can help guide me so I don't make the mistakes that they've made or make mistakes that are preventable. And as I started talking to more and more people, I realized that it's actually something that's desired amongst other men in terms of growing. So I decided to just lean into some mentors and lean into other people. And as more and more people discuss, discussed wanting it, um, I realized that there was actually not just a need for it, but also a problem in terms of mental health amongst men. So let me share my screen here and uh, give you guys a little bit more information, exactly uh, the modern man, what we are all about. And um, let me pull this up here. Uh, so just wanting to create space to embrace discomfort, cultivate community and unlock potential. I think, uh, and this actually what I've found is uni universal to everybody. So I don't want this to be something um, that is one directional just towards men. Um, what I've found through this whole journey is a lot of what we discuss is, is really applicable to men and women and really people of all ages. So we've learned a lot through the last couple of years of running this and let's just hop into what we're gonna do today. Of course, my computer is messing up as we try and click through these slides. All right, um, so we'll start with what is the modern man? Uh, pretty much the ma modern man is a series where we build a community to focus on and discuss some of the challenges and obstacles that men face in today's society. It's an open forum of discussion where thoughts, strategies, and ideas of men living a happy and fulfilled life are explored. Pretty much we come together and we just, we try and discuss how we can best show up each and every single day. I think we all uh, have experienced a number of challenges in 2020 and it's kind of unlocked or revealed the uncertainty that is surrounding us, not just as men, but as just as people. And this is just a, a community where, where men can come together, feel comfortable and share their thoughts, their insights and their experiences with the world. As I started looking into research amongst men, I noticed a problem. Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States. And recent studies and surveys show that men are less likely to seek help when they're experiencing periods of mental health. Even though they do have these same stresses in life during their life events, just as much as their female counterparts. Uh, now the dangerous repercussions of these differences can be seen when you look deeper into the numbers of suicide. Not trying to be morbid here, but just trying to show the actual um, details in, in what it is that really jumped out at me. In 2018, males, white males accounted for 70% of suicides in the United States. Men die by suicide in 2018, three and a half more times than women. So just by seeing these numbers, you can see the stark difference between the impacts of mental health amongst men and women, mainly because men are isolated. And because of that, the modern man has a goal of providing a community. So what do men need? Clearly from seeing those numbers, men are, are silently crying for help, but men need a place to connect. The modern man aims to create a community of men, not only sharing and connecting on a deeper level, but also exploring how to thrive and live a happy and fulfilled life. Kind of digging the well before we get thirsty here by having a group of men connected and focused on being their best selves, empowering each other, networking, accomplishing goals. You already have that network of or that safety net to catch you when things do get hard. As 2020 has showed us, things do get hard. A place to grow. And we already provide a diverse community of men through our closed Facebook group. And we also continue to produce episodes of The Modern Man, which is a show where we sit down with business owners, men in the community, and discuss some of the challenges that they've been over, able to overcome in hopes that those stories resonate with some of the viewers and help them deal with some of their issues that they're dealing with. 
We offer a number of different things in terms of important conversations through interviews. We also want to offer men benefits and resources for growth, exclusive deals, mentorship opportunities, as well as networking with like-minded individuals. Again, this is all about digging the well before we're thirsty and solving that problem of isolation amongst men so they're less likely to fall into a dark pit hole when things get tough in their lives. And the community through the closed Facebook group is only just the surface of what we are building. We also have a member portal, which continues to have more of an invested community of men pouring into each other through closed forums and also providing events and things like that, which we'll be talking about later on. So summing up uh, uh, pretty much in a nutshell, what we offer with The Modern Man is interview episodes. We're currently in season two of our Modern Man episodes, where we are, again, interviewing local business leaders, men in the community, and their experiences, and that is living on YouTube as well as our closed Facebook group. We have live events. Now, we've had a number of live events where men can actually come in person, network, eat, drink, share their stories, meet each other face to face, and also see a live recording of one of those episodes. But of course, that has been paused because of COVID-19. But we do hope to have those live events roll out once again as soon as it is safe to do so. Engaging community. The closed Facebook group is a spot where men can ask questions, discuss their challenges in life, and get instant feedback from a community of men who are like-minded and also going through similar periods of their life as well. Membership benefits. Benefits in terms of finding resources in their area. Resources for gym memberships, resources for business opportunities, resources for job opportunities and networking opportunities. These are all things that can help men and give them the tools as they continue to obviously face the challenges of everyday society, whether it be supporting a family, finding a new career, or just wanting to find someone to be mentored or help mentor somebody as when we get to a certain level, it's always good to pour back into the community as well. Networking and connections. Again, the men in this group are very much like-minded, growth-minded, empowering each other to be their best selves. Because of this, there is a, a niche in that community which offers networking opportunities, and we've already seen a number of relationships build in terms of men helping each other. Finally, there are ways you can follow us and connect with us through our website, our closed Facebook group, our Instagram, as well as we build our social. And there's, of course, ways you can contact me personally. If you're watching this and you'd like to ask questions afterwards, I have my phone number here, 864-395-5425. I, welp I welcome the opportunity for a text message, a phone call, or you can see the email there as well. I'm going to continue, stop sharing this screen. I want to show you guys the website and kind of the things that we're building here um, with the modern man and give you more of a, an actual live example of kind of the things that we're going. So I hope I'm not going over my time here, Randy. Um, but actually, let me go back into the screen and escape from this presentation. You're good to go. Beautiful. Um, so we're going to go into the home screen of the Modern Man website, kind of showing you guys what a lot of folks would see. Um, this is really kind of the landing base, which kind of covers more of what we just spoke about, introducing you to a panel where I understand first and foremost, as I was building this, there, no man is a template. No man has all the answers. The, the answer here is community and finding the little tidbits from each other that we can learn. So there's a panel of business owners that are also a part of this modern man, which you can see as they introduce themselves in this uh, video. But here, just wanted to share for you guys some of the, the core values and the mission of modern man. Our vision is discovering what it means to be a man. It's open-ended because it's not something that's final. It's not something that we're trying to dictate or tell people what it is. I think it's, it's, a, it's a path of discovery and it's a journey in which we hope to learn from each other along the way. Our mission is to create space to embrace discomfort, cultivate community, and unlock potential. Again, embracing discomfort because men are, are not it's taboo for men to seek help. It's taboo for men to speak about their emotions. But what we found through this group is we are not alone in our problems. And when we open up about our problems, we actually find a community of men willing to help us because they've been through the same things. So we always say that a clean slate, a clean suit of armor has never been to battle. By showing those vulnerabilities, you show that you've been strong and you can cultivate a community to help you overcome those challenges, which will in turn unlock your community. Uh, un unlock your potential. 
and our values is simple. Integrity, growth, and strength in vulnerability. Again, leaning into that concept of building that tribe, building that team of men who can help you grow and overcome the challenges. So let's say you're watching this. Camber might be saying, okay, that's all great, but how can I engage? How can I see what you guys are doing? Again, the episodes and the things that we provide is not just for men alone. Actually, our episodes live on Facebook, on Facebook and YouTube, and it's content that, again, as we found, is helpful to everybody, not just men. So women, if you're watching this and you'd like to engage, we do have the episode section here of all the episodes of our, of our Modern Man series here for your viewing pleasure. And of course, we also have plans of having women on the show as well, because I think it's a team effort of building the modern man. It's not something that can just be done alone, as we've mentioned. It's all about doing things together. So you don't, don't be afraid to hop into this section, women, if you're watching, to kind of learn what we're about and what we're doing, and maybe even tell your spouse, loved one, or friend about what's going on and how can they jump in. Really quick, showing our Facebook page, which is also open to men and women. This is the first level in which folks can continue to get the engagement. And as you can see, a repetitive picture here, that's where we'll post those shows and the interviews as they come out bi-weekly with local business owners. This being uh, Tay Nelson of Bobby's Barbecue, getting national attention for barbecuing, has a great story on how he first resisted barbecuing, but then jumped into it. And even a story from La Lazaro, Laz, the owner of Tropical Grill, talking about not knowing where the next meal would come to feed his family as he was building his restaurant. So just really getting a lot of insight from these men who've been through challenges themselves and have been able to come to a certain point in their lives where, where they're, they're on their way to success, but we don't ever feel like it's final, so it's still a journey. Of a closed Facebook group. This is a level where we start the separation here, ladies. And men are in this closed Facebook group currently at over a thousand members. Unfortunately, I'm sorry you can't join, but understand that what's being what's happening in this group is all positive things. I'm not going to scroll through the group to kind of preserve the things that the men are discussing here, but these are all positive ways that we can show up, handle challenges. We discuss divorce, we discuss uh, problems in the relationship, having children, how can we show up, dealing with, with uh, pregnancy and being the best supporter and husband we can be during the process. So a lot of positive things are continued to be discussed in this closed Facebook group as well. And as I mentioned, again, you can always subscribe to the YouTube channel, which has the episodes, has some snippets as well. And you can see all of our content here from the past two years that we've been con communicating with men in the community and sharing that. I do want to share one more screen with you guys, one last uh, view of the member portal, because I think that's very valuable. As I've mentioned a couple times, this is a paid member portal that um, allows the members to have more of an engaged and invested community. And let me see if I can get this live here. All right, you should be seeing this. Um, and in this section, we have that member form, which breaks down different topics that men have uh, challenges in, whether it be finances, relationships, romance, business, um, personal development, spirituality, all that. A closed business directory, which actually operates a lot like Google in terms of offering a business directory for businesses in your area. There's, there's ways you can rate, comment, and discuss the different businesses. And we also offer member deals. Here we also have upcoming events where we have a, a pistol combat training event coming up in December at a discounted rate for the members. Again, providing resources that men would likely want to use in the exclusive content here, one of which being our live virtual conference. Again, COVID-19 changing our plans here. We had a virtual conference back in August. The recording from that virtual conference now lives in the member section. So even if someone wasn't able to attend live, they are able to see the recording of it. Again, uh, the goal for this whole thing with Modern Man is to build a community of men being their best selves, showing up to be their best selves. And there's a, a lot more content that's been coming out. Randy has been a huge help in terms of building this, this project and this organization. And uh, we really hope to uh, impact men in a positive way and help build better men, better husbands, better sons, better fathers, and just be better members of society overall. Hope I didn't go over time, Randy. I'm done. <laughs> no, you're good. You got plenty to say. Um, 
but no, that was wonderful. Uh, thank you for sharing. Another great example, um, you know, you've got local professional development, global professional development, networking, resources, really a platform to learn about opportunities in life. You've got your personal, you know, uh, I want to say like a spiritual, ethical training group to support yourself with. So obviously here in the upstate, there's so much more to offer than what people realize on a lot of different levels. And um, we're going to take that and continue to move right along.